Hello everyone, I hope y'all are having a great Tuesday so far. Tonight we'll be looking at the weather across the United States for today and to tomorrow. And we will also be taking a look at the upcoming weather systems for late this week and to early this weekend. So on the 18ZH Triple R, uh, rain will start to move into the northwest United States late this evening and to uh, tonight. And rain will uh, basically go across uh, Oregon and Washington State uh, throughout the night into early tomorrow morning. And this will pretty much continue throughout the day and rain will also heavier rain will also start to move through uh, California as well and this will uh, change the snow in some of the California mountains and this will go into late uh, tomorrow Wednesday into the evening in parts of the mountains and into uh, Nevada as well for today into uh, late tonight there'll be snow falling across ohio and west virginia and uh, kentucky maybe virginia as well into the tennessee and north carolina mountains and this will go until about early tomorrow morning and this will change the rain in north carolina and south carolina this low pressure will move off into the atlantic uh, tomorrow evening and another low pressure will move across the northeast and maybe get a little bit of a quick dusting of snow in the uh, northeast on a late Thursday evening into Friday morning across the northeast with maybe totals up to two inches in some isolated spots with mainly one or less inches across the northeast. So now looking at our system that we've been talking about that will start to really gain a lot of energy into late this week and this weekend it will start affecting the western united states tomorrow evening with all that rain i was showing earlier and with the uh, snow in the western united states colorado and wyoming will probably see the most snow out of this system and so pressure continues to spin and will uh, potentially uh, deliver that severe weather for the south central united states for uh, late this week into this weekend and most of this weekend there'll be a uh, small potential for severe weather and the slow pressure dives southeast and will just continue to spin into the southern United States and move off completely by possibly next Tuesday into next Wednesday. The 12 the European pretty much shows uh, this similar setup here with that snow in the western United States and with the low pressure really starting to dig into the southern United States and a heavy rain will probably come with this system uh, in the uh, deep south and this will move off into the uh, Atlantic by uh, looks like late Tuesday into Wednesday again showing up on the European depending on how cold temperatures We'll get into the this area right here will really affect who who could see ice and stuff and maybe even snow with this too so now if we take a look at our jet stream on the 18z gfs as you can see here with that jet stream pretty much diving more south and pushing over the southwest united states on friday and this will continue to move east and will Pretty much amplify over the southern United States into the western United States and this jet stream will support the pattern we're getting ready to see with those lows pretty much riding this into the southern United States this pattern will definitely need to be watched over the next couple of weeks and it will definitely be interesting to see what all comes from this so now looking at the severe part of this system on um, into Friday uh, midday into the evening uh, Cape value is going above 1,000 joules per kilogram in Oklahoma showing up here and a, a long belt of um, 700 plus joules per kilogram of surface base Cape and that will diminish mostly throughout Friday night into late Saturday
So there won't be much of a uh, strong low level jet with this uh, for uh, Friday evening, 30 to 35 knots showing up in Texas and Oklahoma. It will get start to get more amplified into late Friday night. And this will be an area to watch with the Cape values and uh, this 40 knot low level jet showing up right here in Oklahoma. Now, if you look at dew points for Friday, uh, not really too much at all with only 50 dew points showing up here. And um, the spots where that low level jet was just uh, showing 40 to 30 knots, but we only have into the upper 50s with 57, 56, 55 showing up in Oklahoma there and the moisture will start to head north but there really won't be too much instability there with the uh dews going north into the night so if you look at the southeast on uh this upcoming saturday on the 18z gfs it does not show a lot of instability at all uh, only 700 joules per kilogram of surface base cape showing up in louisiana and uh, mississippi there and just scattered uh 500 to 600 uh, joules per kilogram showing up in Florida there on late Sunday into Monday. So now if we look at the rain accumulations from this, uh, not not too much of a, a very heavy rain event, but definitely some isolated parts could see uh, maybe two and a half, almost three inches. And this will spread across the uh, southeast. Um, on the 18z GFS it does show quite a bit of rain and to the coastal regions of South Carolina with almost over five inches I would say showing up there and uh, a good bit there in South Carolina so that'll be something to uh, monitor over the next several days so that's gonna be it for tonight's video I know it was pretty short but I plan to uh, keep doing these videos and try to give y'all as much updates as I can. I'm definitely going to try to find the right balance between a longer and a shorter video. So probably around, maybe I'm going to try to keep around 10, 10 ish minutes or so, maybe a little over that, depending on how much there is to talk about. But I hope y'all have a great rest of y'all's Tuesday night. Thank y'all for watching.